Hi guys, Chris from Microsoft here with another exciting episode of Windows Server uh, 2012. What's new in Windows Server 2012? In the last episode we promoted Contoso DC2 uh, to a domain controller. What we're going to look at now is how to remove a DC. So before what we would do is we would come to the domain controller actually let's run that as an administrator and we would type in DC promo Hello, with the not typing in the screen DC P R O M O and you can see I get this error and what you might also be trying to do is DC promo force and it's it's not going to work the reason for that is because this is going to be using the same wizard that you would have used to uh, uh, to, to promote this. And it was the same wizard that we saw uh, for adding and removing features that we saw in the previous episode. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to uninstall by running the uh, remove roles and features wizard. You're going to try to uninstall Active Directory. Now this is going to fail because a prerequisite checker is going to look and see if it's possible to remove the Active Directory domain services role. This is how you can get to demote this domain controller wizard. So when we click this, and again, we're not actually going to uninstall the binaries for Active Directory. You're just going to attempt to do so, so that the prereq checker will pop you up that link so you can start this wizard. So what we're looking at here is the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard. This gives us ad additional information or uh, options such as force the removal of this domain controller. So if you're looking for uh, the force removal, this is how we do it now. So I can come through and I can say uh, go ahead and force it. You can see it's identified to me that this is a DNS server and a global catalog server letting me know that might be important to me. If there are any FISMO roles that this DC is hosting, it's also going to warn me about that. I have to check and say proceed with removal, and it's going to ask me for a password. When you force removal a DC from the domain, it's going to come back in a work group, so you need to have a local administrator password. If you just do a graceful removal of a DC, it's going to come up as a member server, but either way, you need a password. So we'll give it that. got our review the selections screen really not much to do here so I click note and it begins the process of forcefully removing uh, this domain controller it's going to take a couple minutes so I'll pause the video until that process completes when it completes it will immediately kick off a uh, 10 second countdown just like it did in the previous episode after we actually promoted it to a DC uh, after which the reboot it'll come up in a work group it will uh, no longer be a member of the domain and then we've got to go do some metadata cleanup loven and there it went it just finished so now it's uh, doing its 10 second countdown this has been removed I can come over here to DC1 and let's take a look at that. We'll be changing his screen resolution as well. So let's get him down where we can see it. In the previous episode we had an epic failure and so I had to revert all the VMs back from <laughs> their snapshots and so all the screen resolutions aren't fitting into my uh, video capture window. So if I come in here to Server Manager and go into Tools, uh, and go into Active Directory Uses and Computers, and we go into Domain Controllers, we've got Contoso DC2 still listed here. Now we used to use NTD Util to uh, do a uh, I, uh, that server still rebooting here. Uh, we'd have to do, uh, do an NTS Util. Uh, to do a metadata cleanup as of 2008. A lot of you are probably already aware of this. I just right click on it, click delete, say yes I'm really sure and then I'm really really sure this is a domain controller that's gone and we don't care about him, we don't love him anymore and we're gonna go ahead and murder him and bye, he's gone. So that's metadata cleanup in the new way. and <laughs> That's pretty daggum easy, right? I think everybody can agree with that. Now when I do a control delete over here on Contoso DC2 you'll notice that he only has options to log on locally using the uh, password that I gave it earlier. And now we could re-promote him again if we needed to. 
So uh, good if we're having some replication issues or having some other uh, types of problems. Just do the force removal, graceful removal wherever possible. I would like to mention that if you are really good with DISM and you're used to using DISM for uh, adding and removing things, do not use DISM to remove the Active Directory Domain Services uh, binaries until after you have demoted a DC because if you do that you're actually going to uh, you're going to end that domain controller it cannot recover from that alright so uh, the the other thing I want to mention here is that earlier when we had gone through this removal process we unchecked the Active Directory Domain Services role you'll see that it is still checked we could, if we were wanting to do a complete cleanup, now uncheck Active Directory Domain Services from this and uncheck DNS even if we wanted to do a complete cleanup. Just know that when you do uh, uncheck that and it goes through the prerequisite checker, the first time it won't be able to uncheck like you can see here. The first time it catches it because Server Manager is smart enough to know not to rip the binaries out from under a domain controller whereas again DISM is not. DISM will leave you with a blue screen uh, boot loop. This will warn you and say hey we, we just can't do that until you do a full uh, DC promo uh, and, and uh, pull that guy out and demote him. So uh, this is kind of a tack on to the uh, previous episode to cover both the removal and the add. So this is a little bit of a shorter video, whereas the other one was a bit longer. Uh, so anyway, that, that kind of gets us to the end of the promotion and demotion operation. So anyway, guys, this has been Chris with Microsoft. As always, thank you for watching. Now, if you found anything about this useful, as always, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe subscribe to my channel. Uh, my blog is at 9z.com. It's uh, really easy to remember, just the last number and the last letter, uh, .com. That also has links to my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Twitter. So as always, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, whoops, I apologize. I have to uh, tack on one quick little note at the end of this. Um, I will be out of the country for the next, uh, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, about 10 or 11 days, uh, depending on how things go. Uh, so there will be no updated videos uh, for a little bit over a week. So after that week's back, I'll uh, uh, look forward to posting up some new videos. Uh, so I'll have this uh, posted, and this should hit... I believe I'll have that posted probably on the 16th of uh, March. So it'll be about 10 days or so after that. And uh, anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching and uh, see you in the next episode.